Hello, Elizabeth here, and today I'm going to show you how I made this glitter wallet. I bought this wallet about three years ago, and the glitter is really starting to come off in a few places, so I decided it was time to spruce it up a little. I'm gonna walk you through everything step by step. This is my three-year-old Kate Spade wallet, and it's starting to look pretty rough. You can see that the glitter has almost completely rubbed off in a few places, but the wallet is still in perfectly good condition otherwise, so I'm just going to refresh the glitter. The first product I'm using to apply the glitter is called Aline's Original Tack It Over and Over. It's meant to be a temporary and repositionable adhesive, so when it completely dries, it remains sticky. I used a silicone brush to apply it all over the one side of the wallet. Once I had this side of the wallet coated with a nice even layer of the glue, I used a clean lip brush to tidy up the little spade logo and any messy edges. Then I let it dry for about an hour. After an hour, the tacket is no longer wet, but it is sticky to the touch. I'm using this very fine pink glitter I got on Amazon. There are links to everything I'm using in the description. I poured the glitter all over the wallet, and because the glue is sticky, you can use your finger to kind of buff the glitter right into it. There may be some excess glitter buildup, which you can use a dry bristled brush to just scrape away and it will leave behind only the glitter that is stuck in the glue. Then I repeated the same steps on the back side of the wallet, applying the tacket, letting it dry, applying the glitter, rubbing it in, and scraping away the excess. I recommend putting down some parchment paper before applying the glitter so that you can easily dump the excess back into the package. Next, I applied some glossy Mod Podge using a foam brush and another coat of glitter for good measure. The reason why I did the coat of Tacket first instead of just doing it all with Mod Podge is because sometimes when I layer Mod Podge over itself a few times on an item like this that's gonna be handled a whole bunch, it ends up peeling off or cracking. So I just thought I might have a smoother finish by doing the layer of Tacket first. If you don't want to use both, you could just use the Mod Podge and it would probably be fine. I just really like how smooth of a finish you get with Tacket and I haven't had any problems with it peeling. Once the Mod Podge sat for an hour, I used the dry bristled brush again just to make sure we were nice and smooth with no clumps of glitter anywhere. Then I did one final layer of Mod Podge to seal everything in. I let that fully dry and this was the final result. No offense to Kate Spade, but I think it looks even better than it did when I first got it. This craft glitter is super sparkly and the Mod Podge gives it a really nice seal. I think the glitter will last a lot longer this time. There wasn't really a seal over the glitter in the first place because it was always rough to the touch, but with the Mod Podge, this has a shiny and smooth finish and even when you rub it, there is no loose glitter coming off. There is still plenty of life left in this wallet, so I'm really glad it's looking like new again on the outside. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment letting me know what you would like to see next. See you later.